Found an interesting situation today on a 94 Ford truck. Um, it's not like a 94 Ford truck is going to give you a lot of room to work for days to try to figure out an electrical issue anyway, so you need to be as quickly as you can about it. And we found out that one of the main supply fuses was blown, the reason the engine wasn't running, and um, it, that circuit had a, a definite dead short. So we made us a fuse jumper to do our testing with, and uh, for whatever reason, I happened to think to grab the uh, infrared camera to look and see if we could, uh, with the thermal imager, be able to pick up a circuit. And we started pulsing some power back to the circuit. Noticed that we had, and this, we'd already pulled the wire and diagram, figured out, you know, what the circuit was fed, was, but who wants to take a 1994 Ford F-150 apart without having a general vicinity or direction of where to start? Um, the customer don't want us to do that. That gets costly. We need to be in a more general area, diagnostically speaking. So anyway, we used our thermal imager. Uh, problem has been found now. We were able to isolate into this area using the thermal imager hot wiring. We followed it all the way through to the back of the engine. And for any of you who are interested, there's a Thermac air system back there, a crossover pipe that crosses over on the back between the two heads. And uh, obviously at some point in time, the pipe has burned out. It has melted the wire harness back through there. Probably the vacuum harness as well. Uh, diagnostics are achieved quickly. Uh, this wasn't a two hour diagnostic r routine or an hour and a half or whatever. This was spot on, spot on, spot on with the meter. We were able to see it with the thermal image where the heat was, went right to it. We're going to end up saving him some money in a diagnostic fashion. So uh, we'll pull the intake, fix the wiring, the vacuums, the crossover pipe, and the one-way check valve, I will be good. Hope you enjoyed it.